So here, uh, this is our uh, stack uh, right here. And the stack is the section of memory used by pushing and popping registers and storing uh, return addresses when a subroutine is uh, called. So uh, a lot of this is going to be covered when we're going to discuss uh, uh, managing uh, stack memory and uh, procedure calling uh, topics. The stack holds temporary uh, areas for local variables, also known as stack frames. So your main module is written in high-level language. The language handles the dealings and creation of the stack. So, uh, but uh, if we're just purely managing everything in our assembly program, uh, then we can use the stack uh, directive, but its, uh, uh, its use is limited only to the main uh, module, basically to the same file where the main procedure uh, is located. As I already mentioned, the default stack size is um, uh, 1 kilobyte or 1024 bytes, um, and uh, this size is uh, quite sufficient for most small programs. If you want a stack of a different size, you can specify it uh, right here uh, with, uh, like we did, the, 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 the smallest size, which is 256 bytes or um, um, 100 hexadecimal. So data and const right here uh, create uh, uh, both um, are placed uh, inside the data segment and uh, it's just the global data. Uh, so specifically for uh, reasons of safety, a constant uh, data segment is read-only um, and uh, uh, back in the MS-DOS times uh, with the 16-bit architecture, this, the segment size was limited to 64 kilobyte. So then as over uh, switching over to 32-bit under Windows NT, it became 512 megabytes. So there's also uh, data with the question mark, which is um, uh, can be used for compatibility with other uh, high-level programming languages. Um, and uh, most of the languages, uh, at least uh, under Microsoft umbrella, use const data segment for constant data, uh, such as constant strings. And uh, uh, the strings uh, have to be uh, placed uh, somewhere, so typically they end, uh, end up being in this uh, type of uh, memory. And uh, the data uh, with the question mark right here is uh, a segment for storing uninitialized variables. Okay, so uninitialized variables, uh, if you use them in C, they're typically the C runtime initialization module compiled into your program will set every single byte and every bit inside that byte to zero. So there will be the code which essentially will wipe this uh, segment with all zeros. So this is why in C, if you have a global variable such as integer uh, global, right, something like this, global, um, and you do not provide any initialization to it in your C program, it will actually be initialized to zero by C startup uh, module that initializes C runtime uh, uh, library. So anyway, so the same uh, code applies here we, if we combine our assembly programs with uh, high-level language programs. So then uh, finally the code right here uh, instructs the assembler to start the code segment. And by the way, we can uh, do things like this. Uh, so for instance, so right here I can say, uh, okay, I have my variable uh, variable um, double word and uh, whatever it is and then I can actually reopen the data segment later on okay and I should be able to access this variable uh, here I'll just create variable 2 it's a different variable right here so if I try something like uh, move uh, into register ebx uh, offset of uh, variable 2 uh, it should be possible to do so without uh, any problem uh, so if I try building this this is my uh, typical mistake not switching over to 
uh, x86 32-bit mode. So I need to switch here before I actually attempt to build this. Okay, so uh, so this uh, builds uh, just fine, and uh, the code segment can also be uh, uh, reopened later on. So we can essentially mix uh, uh, these directives. Um, and uh, here, if I want to, to have a different procedure, I don't know, uh, procedure, uh, procedure, some kind of demo uh, procedure right here. And this is also a procedure. And uh, of course, it requires the, the end procedure in its syntax. And I'll just keep it uh, 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 empty like this. And here I can uh, try to move into, um, uh, into a register ebx offset of this variable uh, like this. Uh, this is permissible. It's it's okay. We can we can um, this sort of should say continue right continue a code segment and this should say uh, continue uh, initialized initialized data segment. So once again, if we build this, um, oh, I should have typed end p for proper syntax. Right, build it again. So yeah, so this is uh, this is the idea of these uh, simplified directives uh, is that essentially every uh, instance when we uh, when we specify this is our uh, data segment part of our data segment and this is another part of our data segment right here. So when assembler um, processes this file, these two will be concatenated into uh, into one uh, memory area. Uh, likewise, uh, the two places where we're using the code segment uh, directives uh, here and here are also going to be concatenated into one continuous uh, segment. Okay, uh, so but um, if necessary, you can essentially reopen each segment, and uh, the last segment that you have uh, will be uh, closed by the end. Um, directive. So that's that's the idea. Uh, so th this is these are the possibilities of uh, what you can do uh, using uh, using these uh, data and code uh, directives and kind of mix them to perhaps sometimes you want to uh, create a procedure and keep uh, the variables used by this procedure next to the uh, to the procedure definition. So you can just basically do data and code. Then again, data and code. So you could you could do something like this. So uh, uh, the next segment directive closes the previous segment as we discussed, and uh, everything. Um, the each segment has a name, um, and the code directive names the code segment underscore text is the default name for the code segment. Uh, if necessary, we can provide alternative name over here. Again, this is uh, something you wouldn't want to do in the flat memory uh, model uh, structure because most likely this assembly code will be interacting and will be used by uh, parts of the high-level programming language.